Good day everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today, I am going to present to you the parts of the Action Research Proposal. So this is the template. For part 1, we have context and rational or rationality of your Action Research Proposal. So you can write paragraphs here with regards to your topic or to your study or problems in your research proposal. Second part is Action Research Questions. So you have to prepare the research questions for your action research proposal. Third, proposed innovation, intervention, and strategy. Discuss the related literature about your innovation or intervention. Part four of the action research proposal is action research methods. We have three parts also. We have A, participants and or other sources of data and information. So who are the participants of your study? So B, data gathering methods. C, data analysis plan. That is our, those are the three parts for action research methods. For data analysis plan, you can write the statistical tools here for your research. Part five of our action research proposal is action research work plan and timelines. Then we have our part six is the cost estimates. Part seven, the plans for dissemination and utilization. How are you going to disseminate your output of your action research? And uh, part 8 of the action research proposal is the references. Then follow the APA style or APA format, American Psychological Association format for citing the references. Uh, this is from DepEd Order number 16, Sales of 2017 for Research Management Guidelines. Okay, so for the reminders, align with BERA Basic Education Research Agenda, DPED Order 39 since 2016. So in our division, we follow the font size or the font style is Arial, font size is 11, spacing is double spaced, number of pages maximum 20, size of paper A4 or short. This is the sample of action research proposal for the title. We have improving attendance and academic performance among grade 12 students through incentive-based intervention. An action research proposal is presented to write the district, the planned district research committee of the division of Zamboanga Sibugay. So this is a sample for the title page. Okay, submitted by your name. Senior high school teacher three, then write your school, then the address of the school, and the month and the year. So, for example, here we have September 2018. After that, the first part of our action research proposal is context and rationality or rational. So, you write here the introduction, the context. For example, I will read to you the first paragraph. One of the challenges for teachers is students' absenteeism. Teachers prepare lesson plans or daily lesson logs with the objective that 100% of the class will learn from the day's classroom activities. And is most satisfying when all students are present on that day and the days thereafter to ensure maximum learning. Then another paragraph for the context and rational. Don't forget to write the research gap in your context. Then after that, the second part is action research questions. So here, this research seeks to document on how to improve the attendance and academic performance among the grade 12 electrical installation and maintenance EIM students of Biplahan National High School during the school year 2018 to 2019. Specifically, it seeks to answer the following questions. So, number one, what are the factors that cause absenteeism among grade 12 EIM students? Two, what is the frequency of attendance among grade 12 EIM students when grouped into 2.1 before the incentive-based intervention and 2.2 after the incentive-based intervention? Three, or third, what is the academic performance of the grade 12 EIM students when data are grouped into before and after the incentive-based intervention? Number four, is there a significant relationship between incentive-based intervention and the attendance and 
among the grade 12 EIM students. Then number five and number six. Third, you are going to discuss the proposed innovation intervention and strategy of your action research proposal. So here, you write some of the related literature or your related study or studies that will support for your innovation. So we have incentive-based intervention. And you discuss the literature to support your innovation. Then after that, part four is action research methods. The first part is for letter A, participants and or other sources of data and information. So who are the participants of your study and other sources of data and information? Okay, we have here table one. Number of respondents, the research respondents of the research, grade 12 EIM. Then the letter B, data gathering methods. How are we going to gather the data? We have the flow chart of the incentive-based intervention. Okay. We have the validity and the reliability. Letter C is data analysis plan. Okay, so we have the data gathered. You can use some statistical tools, frequency, I mean, frequency, or other statistical tools that will be applied in your research. We have here, since we are going to test the relationship, chi square test. For the difference, we have t test. Okay, so the part five of our action research proposal is the action research work plan and timelines. Here you write the goal. For our example, to improve the attendance of grade 12 students using the incentive-based intervention. Then also the program objective, to recommend actions to implement incentive-based intervention as intervention to improve attendance at the Plaha National High School. Then you can have the table 2, action research work plan and timelines, the implementation steps, responsibilities, who will do, resources, the funding, time, people, materials, and the timeline, when, day, and month. Okay, part 6 is the cost estimates of the action research proposal. A detailed breakdown of items where their corresponding cost is furnished. The items and costs reasonably reflect the funding needs of the action research and adhere to the BERF guidelines. The overall plan reflects the proponent's capacity to project specific expenses that the researcher be accountable for. So we have here the table 3 of the cost estimates is shown below. So we have the financial report. Part 7 is plans for dissemination and advocacy. So the researcher aims to disseminate and utilize the research with full support of the school principal through existing mechanisms such as you can have learning action cell or the LAC, in-service training or the INSET, school governing council or the SGC, or the school report card or the SRC. You can also disseminate through publication or presentation of the action research. And the last part of action research is the references. So for the references, you can cite the author, then the name of the uh, title of the book or research. So you can use the APA or APA style, the American Psychological Association. So for the soft copy of the sample of the action research, you can click the link below of this channel. Don't forget to click subscribe in my YouTube channel, then like, and you can post comment, you can post your email ad for some details. Thank you very much for watching.